it's fun to eat supper with your family especially when there is good food on the table on healthy bodies they are good foods to eat father is certainly enjoying his supper so is carol so is mother just look at that plate aren't you feeling well bill aren't you hungry what can be the matter after supper it's fun to play a while before bed but there's still something wrong isn't there bill in a moment you'll know what it is yes bill you're getting a stomach ache. You have a stomach ache, it isn't any fun to play. There it is again. Poor Bill. What now? We'll soon know, because here comes Mother. Mother can tell right away that Bill isn't feeling well. So, what happens next? Yes, Bill's put to bed to get some rest. Now, why does Bill have a stomach ache? He didn't eat anything bad today, did he? Well, perhaps it wasn't what he ate, but the way he ate it. Why, even this morning, Mother was a little worried. Let's go back to this morning and see how Bill's stomach ache might have happened. Bill wasn't at breakfast on time this morning. You see, he didn't get up when Father first called him. Oh, Bill got to the table and he ate his breakfast, or rather, part of it. Orange juice, one big gulp of it. Milk for the cereal, splash it on. No time to waste. Gobble down the cereal, a couple of big spoonfuls, one right after the other. But leave most of it. Now for the eggs. More good, healthful food. But what about Bill's eating habits? Into his mouth went some egg. Right away, a big bite of toast. And there was some bacon, so he stuffed in part of that. And then, just one big splash of milk. And Bill was off to school. Well, he caught up with his family and he beat them through breakfast. But he ate so fast. And do you think he ate enough? At lunchtime, Bill had some fine sandwiches. He also had money to buy soup but he didn't want to stand in line for soup. He was in a hurry to go out and play. So, how did Bill eat his lunch? Watch. After school, of course, Bill was hungry. He was hungry and he had some money. So, but did Bill leave his pop and candy only half eaten? No, sir. He emptied that pop bottle as fast as he could. He gobbled down all his candy. And as if that wasn't enough, he ate some cookies too. Then Bill didn't feel hungry anymore. No, sir. For once he had eaten too much. At supper time, Bill still felt full. So he didn't hurry with his supper. He just poked at it. He was tired. And he just didn't have any appetite. Bill didn't know it, but he was already beginning to be sick. Well, Bill, now you know what might have caused your stomach ache why you feel so bad. Why you'll have to stay in bed until you feel better. You see, 
you hurried so all day long. You rushed through your meals and didn't eat enough good food. And then in the afternoon, all those sweets. They filled your stomach and didn't leave room for any of the foods you need. In fact, Bill, you mistreated your stomach all day long. No wonder you have a stomach ache. How is it this morning, Bill? Feel better? Think you know now about good eating habits? Downstairs in time for breakfast. Give yourself time to eat a good breakfast. Let's see how well you can eat. That's right. Drink your juice a little at a time. Doesn't it taste good? You just never took time before to find how good food can taste. Mother is pleased and proud. We're off to a good start this morning. But will it last? Will you remember to eat the right way? washed your food down. Before you take a drink, chew your food well and swallow it. Now you're eating pretty well. Will you do as well with the bacon and eggs and toast? Chew your toast thoroughly. That's the way. Chew and chew. Doesn't it taste extra good that way? What about that bacon? Well, maybe there are better ways to cut it. But when you eat it in small bits, you can chew it better. It tastes so good, you want to eat every bite. Breakfast is more fun this way, isn't it? Well, Bill, plenty of time to get to school today. And in class, Studying seems easier. What? Eleven o'clock? Usually you're mighty hungry by this time. Today. Today you feel fine. Lunchtime is another time to practice good eating habits. Eat slowly and chew thoroughly. Finish all your food. Later on, drink lots of water. After school, that's the idea, Bill. A good snack of crackers and milk at home. That's the good kind of food if you're hungry after school. And then, play. Hard play. Plenty of pep now. Yesterday's stomach ache is forgotten. At supper time, you're hungry again. Everything tastes good, and you're eating well. See what good eating habits can do for you? Looking for seconds. After supper, you feel fine. No stomach ache, not too tired, not hungry. Just feeling fine. And that's...